out of money. Sussex's desperate attract attention with despicable trickers announce new fake deal. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have gushed when we invest in each other we change the world after signing a new woke deal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have forged a number of lucrative deals since stepping down from royal life, including multi-million dollar partnerships with Netflix, Spotify, and Apple. Now they have revealed they have become impact partners and investors at sustainable investing firm Ethic. In a statement the couple said, when we invest in each other we change the world. Be it through the investment of time, as with mentoring, investment in community, as with volunteering, or in the investment of funds, for those who have the means to, our choices, of how and where we put our energy, define us as a global community. We believe it's time for more people to have a seat at the table when decisions are made that impact everyone. We want to rethink the nature of investing to help solve the global issues we all face. That is one of the ways we put our values in action. According to reports, the couple were introduced to the company by a friend. Megan told, From the world I come from, you don't talk about investing, right? You don't have the luxury to invest. That sounds so fancy. My husband has been saying for years, gosh, don't you wish there was a place where if your values were aligned like this, you could put your money to that same sort of thing? The company posted on Twitter to celebrate the partnership, saying, We're thrilled to welcome Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as impact partners at Ethic. Together, we are committed to creating a more inclusive, resilient and sustainable future. More than a year on from joining forces with Netflix, the couple have only announced two major productions, Harry's Heart of Invictus about the Invictus games and Meghan's animated children's show Pearl. They've also still only released one 34-minute podcast in their nine months with the platform, despite promising much more. Harry announced his upcoming docu-series Heart of Invictus back in April, having signed a £112 million deal with Netflix last year. He gushed over the series at the time, saying he couldn't wait for it to reveal the mosaic of resilience. A release date for the series, however, is yet to be revealed. Meanwhile, Meghan's Pearl, which she is creating alongside Sir Elton John's husband David Furnish, will feature the adventures of a 12-year-old girl who is inspired by a variety of influential women. There is speculation that Pearl will have a similar feel to her recent children's book The Bench, which became a New York Times bestseller but flopped in the UK. Meghan said how the book was a love letter to her husband and their first child, Archie. Industry sources previously insisted Meghan and Harry's Spotify podcast deal is still on track, with information on the next episode expected later in the year. Previous, six months after detangling their work lives from the British royal family, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan, have signed a multi-year deal to produce nature series, documentaries and children's programming for the streamer, according to a statement Wednesday. The two, who recently relocated to Santa Barbara, California, plan to focus on stories and issues that elevate diverse voices and other issues close to their hearts. Several projects are already in development, including a nature docuseries and a series focused on women who inspire. Our lives, both independent of each other and as a couple, have allowed us to understand the power of the human spirit, of courage, resilience, and the need for connection, the pair said in the joint statement. Through our work with diverse communities and their environments, to shining a light on people and causes around the world, our focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope. The couple also pledged to promote diversity behind the camera as their production company gets off the ground. Meghan has said she will not return to acting. She has done some voice work since the couple left the UK with baby Archie in search of their financial independence.